patch that's actually here to stay this time, a Rec Room game jam, and some hints at the next Rec Room original. I'm Billy Bob from BVR, and this is Rec Room Weekly. On the surface, it probably seems like there isn't that much to go over this week, like all there basically was was a patch that I've already covered, but if you look a little bit deeper, there is actually a ton of exciting information that was revealed this week, so let's get into it. First up, on the front of new updates, as I said already, we have a patch that we kind of already got. I already covered everything that happened in it in the last edition of Rec Room Weekly, because they pushed it out and then took it back like a couple hours later. But this week, it's been pushed out again, and I think it's here to stay this time. Just as a recap, the major changes were that room creators can now set custom room images for screen mode players, some bug fixes, and some general updates to Circuits V2. Other than that, not much to go over with updates, I just felt like I should mention that that patch is now back out. What was really exciting for me this week, and where we got a couple of hints at the next Rec Room original, was AMA 18. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not usually a massive fan of these AMAs. I think the questions they answer don't really answer anything actually important most of the time, and all of the answers are always like, oh, we've sent that over to the right team, or we might consider that. Just very, like, neutral answers. Which makes sense, because, like, obviously they're not gonna be like, yep, you're right, a new quest is coming in, like, the middle of an AMA. That'd just be crazy. So, I don't know, they're usually not really my thing, but this week's AMA actually did do it right, and it had a lot of interesting information without giving too much away. So let's go through some of the things they talked about. The first interesting thing they discussed is pets. They didn't go too in-depth with it, because I don't think it's something they're actively working on right now, but basically they confirmed that at some point in the future, however far off, I think they'd like to add pets to the game. Whether that be, like, pets that follow you all around Rec Room, or just pets that are in specific rooms. There isn't too much to go over with this, because all they basically did was acknowledge that it's something they'd like to work on at some point, but I still think this is something really cool to mention, and I think it's nice that it's on the developers' minds. Another thing they talked about was new avatar customization, and that doesn't really sound like just new items and stuff. It sounded as though they were planning on making some pretty drastic changes to the avatar model, and this is a little bit of speculation, but Gribbly specifically said, Harry, I think it's something Thing that you'll like. And again, this is kind of speculation, but to me, this sounds like they're gonna be adding legs at some point. I mean, his username is Harry Man Legs, and Gribbly said it's something that he would like, so it makes sense, oh, he can have Harry Man Legs on the Avatar, look man, I don't know. And I think it also kind of makes sense with the rise of full body tracking so that Rec Room can support that. Because as of right now, Rec Room doesn't really support anything like full body tracking or finger tracking to keep it nice and simple. I've seen some divide about this in the community about whether they should change the model or not. Personally, I'm all for it as long as whatever they come up with looks good. And I think that's what most other people people are thinking too, as long as it doesn't look like weird and uncanny and it isn't like a super drastic change, I think most people will be fine with it. And I have faith that the team knows how to make things not look weird in their game by now. And lastly, the most interesting piece of news revealed in the AMA was a hint about the next Rec Room original. Originally, the next Rec Room original was planned to come out before the end of 2020. However, since then, I believe it has been delayed to early 2021. And in this AMA, Gribbly basically confirmed two big things about Rec Room originals. One, it seems like next year is going to have a lot of Rec Room originals, and there's going to be a lot more focus on Rec Room originals in 2021 than custom games, which is something I think the majority of the community will be very happy to hear. He also answered a question about quests, and while he didn't say it outright, he really made it sound like there would be a new quest at some point next year, which is also awesome. And the second thing he confirmed is that there's already been a hint about the next Rec Room original in one of the previous AMAs. Now on hearing this, obviously, as the news person, I went back and I rewatched like, a lot of AMAs with Gribbly in them. Especially the newer ones, and I paid a lot of special attention to AMA 16, because that's where they talked about Rec Room Originals as well a little bit, and I didn't come up with anything. I looked in the background, I listened to what they were saying, I didn't really find anything that stood out to me as a hint, but I guess if it's a good hint, it probably shouldn't stand out then. I'll play the clip here, here's what a lot of the community seems to think that the hint was in AMA 16. And then the next kind of like full, hey we're building a new game thing, um, is planned for later in the year. Um, we've been doing a bunch of prototyping. It's a pretty big swing. Uh, we're, we're really adding some exciting new functionality, some really exciting new stuff that hasn't been seen in Rec Room before. So basically, Gribbly said it's going to be quite the big swing, and he made like a hand motion with it, and so people are thinking it's going to be something to do with swinging. So maybe the next Rec Room original could be like golf or tennis or baseball. To be fair, there's a lot of things that have to do with swinging. Who really knows? Even when I went back and I listened to this with the pretense that it was supposed to be a hint of some kind, it really doesn't sound like a hint. Like, it just kind of sounds like that's how he phrased the sentence, so I think people might be jumping to conclusions on this. But again, then, if it actually did stand out as a hint and actually sounded like a hint, then it wouldn't be a very good hint. So I think it's a good possibility that this might be actually what he was talking about. So for now, that's about all we know. Obviously, I'll be covering this as it develops, so if you want to get the latest in Rec Room original news and Rec Room news in general, make sure to subscribe to my channel, BVR. I post a Rec Room weekly video every single week, as the name suggests, where I go through the latest week in Rec Room news. And you frickin' bet if they announce a new Rec Room original, that'll be in Rec Room weekly. Alright, let's go over this week's weekly rotation of items. The weekly skin for this week is the Fall 
small paintball assault rifle skin. It's a repeat, but it still looks pretty dang cool. And here's the challenges that you can do to get this skin. The new items this week are all recolors of each other. They're the winged hats. You can get them for 850 tokens, and they come in Kingfisher, Raven, and Grackle colors. These are really awesome, but I'm pretty sure they're all just recolors of the pride hats that we already had, so not really as cool as most of the weekly skins, but still nice to have. There's also a new Rec Room Plus item for this month. It's the winged helmet. You can get this for 2,500 tokens, and I don't really know about this one. It removes your hair, and I don't really think it goes with any already existing costumes, so I don't think I'm gonna pick this one up. But hey, maybe you like it. Who knows? The weekly Invention Tower theme for this week is animals, and some of these actually look really cool and not really what I would expect from an animals category. But hey, if you want some premium inventions that fall into this category, then make sure to go to the Invention Tower room and check it out. And in other news, let's talk about some contests. The latest video contest for movie trailers ended on the 30th, and they're still judging them, so we should get results next week, maybe. Not much to say on that, but I'll make sure to update you on who the winners are. Hopefully me, hopefully I'm one of them. Just yesterday, they also announced a new Maker Pen Challenge with the theme of food. You have until December 1st to finish your inventions and publish them, which is quite a bit of time. And for the first time ever, they announced a Rec Room Game Jam. Basically, players have from November 2nd to November 8th to create a game room in the theme of party time. This theme doesn't mean it specifically has to be like a party-related room, as long as it's a game where you can talk to your friends during it, that counts under the theme. There is no reward for this, really, it's just a fun time to make some games at Rec Room. As of the time of you watching this, it's probably too late to start participating, but I do look forward to seeing what comes from this game jam and if they're gonna do another. I'm wondering how many people they're gonna be able to get to participate without any reward or incentive to actually win. And that's it for this edition of Rec Room Weekly. Some really exciting stuff this week. I'm I'm really, really thinking we're gonna get a medium-sized update next week. I guessed it last week and I guessed it the week before. Medium-sized update next week. I'm guessing it now. If you enjoyed and want to get the latest in Rec Room news every single week, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And with that, I'd like to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. You know, if you enjoyed it, there's a subscribe button right there, but, you know, no pressure. Also, I think there's a video you'll enjoy right here, so click on that if you'd like to, and that's about it. See you next time.